There is no screen in Audi Coupe. It's done pretty good job. So after the tank was washed out for, well, for hours, it was washed out several times and then water ran through for hours uh, with a, like a week long drying in between. Um, now we're gonna test and see if there is anything left in there. I think this means a success, guys. So, what we found out is that there is no screen in Audi Coupe. So, unlike after we cut it open, you can see it. So, unlike Audi 4000, Audi AD for you Europeans out there. There is no screen in Audi Coupe. This is a 1985 Audi Coupe. So here's the gas tank. Here's the orientation in which it goes into the car, right? In, in your trunk. We cut it open. Um, this line is just nothing. It just goes into this pipe, an overfill. And over there, you can see we cut it open right here as well and in there is where the pipe is that in Audi 80 and Audi 4000 same car takes a screen and in Audi Coupe it does not why am I telling you this is because well there's no the screen is there's no there's no filter so all of this beauty that you can see here all of this in the corners it's even worse you won't might not be able to see all of this stuff um has been going into the system and just clogging it and all the pipes were over here everything was full of stuff and this is after cleaning it like multiple times it's cleaning it and washing it out for hours so what we would have to do for now is clean it very super well and we're gonna think of we're gonna think of a treatment or something for this. This is what's coming out of the filter guys. It's full. Hi again, so the tank is welded and ready 
to be etched and coated on the inside to prevent to prevent rusting in the future. What we did, I'm reminding, we cut it open as we thought there will be a filter. There is no filter, so we just welded it back in. It also helps to clear and clean off all the rust. We power washed all the rust uh, out of it through the opening that we welded back over. I'm going to show you how to line a car tank, not a motorcycle tank, with the cream kit. Looks like this. All the tutorials I've seen so far talk about motorcycle tanks. Today we're going to look at how you can use it for a car tank. So this is the smaller cream kit. Um, it has two uh, liquids, one for etching, the other one for conditioning, and bottle number three, the liner itself. Etching means removing, uh, pretty much removing all the rust from your tank. Conditioning, removing the remaining water and any grease out of it. Your tank will need to be um, washed with soap and water some kind of degreasing soap before you even get to this kit at all. Uh, so once your tank is all clean and all the rust you could get of it, you could get out of it uh, is out, then you can use the etching acid, the conditioner and the liner. So the smaller kit has 16 ounces for the liner, 16 ounces for the etching acid and 8 ounces for the conditioner. In the kit it's called conditioner B, I believe. Let's see. Yes, it's B. These are the instructions from the rear of the kit and if you want to pause and read them you can. So one of the things that I found isn't really addressed in uh, other videos on the cream kit that I've seen is that you should be able to use the smaller kit to uh, coat a larger gas tank, so not a motorcycle tank, but rather a car tank. Um, depends on how big it is. Uh, should be fine for the about 11 gallon tank that I'm using here for a sportier Audi. Why I think that? Because the instruction states uh, one pint, so 16 ounces, for one through five gallon capacity of fuel tank, which sounds like motorcycle fuel tank, and um, one quart per 20 gallons car tank capacity. So if your tank is 20 gallons, you need one quart, 32 ounces. My fuel tank is around 10 or 11 gallons. It's a smaller, sportier car gas tank. So one pint, I think will do. That's for that's as for um, as for the liner. Um, as for the conditioners, I think the eight ounces. Uh, B conditioner, which is pretty much acetone, is plenty, and same for the acid. Etching acid, here we go. Removes rust and etches metal. So what you're gonna need uh, to etch, in order to etch the tank, is two gloves of different colors, and protective eyewear, and probably protective, um, some kind of respirator or something, but I'm not going to do that one, but you should. Mechanical Pete is making sure that all the openings in the tank are sealed, except for the one we're going to pour the acid through. This will keep the flap open.
Okay, water is going to come next. So we're first holding the tank in this position after putting 16 ounces of the etching acid, that's the conditioner A in the cream kit, and mixing it with two and a half gallons of water, that's the proper concentration. So right now we're holding it in this position first because on the bottom is the, the camera, the extra section of the gas tank, so we're making sure it gets in there. We're going to hold it in this position for a few minutes turn it on each of the sides and hold for a few minutes and then we're going to leave it uh, overnight um, to etch the, the rest of the tank, it's an old one. And so before leaving the tank for overnight to etch, we're going to stick a screwdriver in through this side. You cannot see it, but the purpose of this is to open the flap and the gas tag opening for the fumes to come out. Already in garage today to make this video, we are, I am, about to empty the gas tank, um, pour the etching acid out of it, and then um, put the conditioner B from the kit into it. Yeah, this is acetone. This is just acetone. There is mechanical peep. In case you're working on a similar tank, what we did here um, is we taped this hole out, this opening. Taped it with the uh, I think kind of isolation tape, um, and then don't worry about the paper tape over it, about the painter's tape. That doesn't matter, it's just for the painting. So uh, we tape this hole out and this is the hole that we're going to use to drain um, prep A, cream prep A right now. And then later on we're going to use the smaller hose right here, this opening, to drain the acetone, the prep B that we're going to use after prep A. Um, the reason for that is because Right now, with the prep A, the acid that's inside, um, the rest will come out better through this hole. And then for the acetone, it doesn't really matter how big the opening is, so we're just going to use that so that acetone doesn't mess up the paint of the um, gas tank when it's coming out. Um, I saw another uh, person doing a cream gas tank lining and they had their paint messed up by the prep B. The tank is etched right now with the acid from the prep A bottle and half of the tank is not etched. So right here you can see this pipe and this is not etched. This belongs to the half of the tank that's not etched yet because the tank laid on one of its sides and it was uh, roughly half full. Now on the bottom, hopefully you can see that is um, that is the part that got etched. So 
So my final thought is that you can etch a car gas tank with the smaller kit. This is just a fact. I just did it. Um, you, it will take you more time. You will have to have the gas tank in six different positions in order to for the etching acid to contact all of the sides of your gas tank. Um, and with a larger kit, which uh, comes with 32 ounces of the etching acid, you will only have to have it in two to four different positions. So the smaller kit comes with 16 ounces of the etching acid and the larger kit comes with 32 ounces of the etching acid. The concentration in, two, in both cases obviously is going to be the same. The fact that uh, the two kits come with different amounts of conditioner B um, shouldn't matter to you because it's just acetone. So you either already have that in your garage or you can get it somewhere cheaply if you need extra. Um, and the interesting part is that the liner, the gas tank liner itself, in both cases comes in the same exact amount. So whatever size gas tank you have, you should be set with that amount, whether you get the larger kit or the smaller kit and yeah basically if you're working on a project that you cannot afford to dump money into you just need to get it running then go with a smaller kit if you can afford the money but cannot afford the time then go with the jumbo kit we did leave the gas tank in multiple different positions for the etching acid to contact all of the sides. We can see the final results. It's done pretty good job.
now I'm draining the liner from the bottom chamber of the tank to make sure that um, the liner doesn't just stay in there and then get set in a larger amount inside the bottom chamber instead of spreading everywhere. Today we're finishing up the gas tank and do a couple more things to make the car run, which we'll probably end up with a separate video. So, gas tank installed. All good in there. This fuel level sensor will need to be replaced, the whole cap with the bowl. But other than that, it's in there. It took a, well, we gave it a week of dry. We did leave the gas tank in each different position for a few hours so that the etching acid can contact all of the parts of the gas tank on the inside so it can get etched. Dude, you're ruining my shot. <laughs>